Me and Grandmama are being real <laughs> perceptive this morning. You ever just totally miss each other, whatever you're talking about? We won't go into any details. But My I'll perception declare. is here. His perception is here. Oh, everything just about it. So, yeah. But I keep her. I'm not going anyplace. Okay. Good, good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And today we're still doing turkey. If you saw my video yesterday, I showed you, we took a whole turkey and we made strips and then I boiled it and I put it in the refrigerator and told you how many different ways that you could do turkey. Well, I'm going to do one of those today. It's, and I'm calling it turkey hash. It's something Roy said, oh honey, I think this would be good because for, I think we're talking about corned beef hash or something. We were. And he said, why don't you make turkey hash? And I said, well, I can do that. And um, with a little hesitation, because you know me, I like it. <laughs> but um, he's broad-minded. I'm so detailed. And But I got to thinking about it, and I said, well, I think that would be good. And he said, let's put it on lacy cornbread. So I said, that sounds delicious. So I've got my pan over here that I'm going to make some lacy cornbread and in my hash I'm going to put I'm going to make it as healthy as I can so I've got carrots red peppers onions celery and I'm going to put some English peas in it and if you like I've got my pan on back here heating because I'm going to saute these vegetables if you like you can even put real finely diced up potatoes in it uh, for those of you who eat we potatoes. We don't do that. No, we don't eat potatoes. Right. But for the ones that do, do can, yeah. it would be a more hearty a more hearty meal. More calories and more carbs. And, yes, but, yeah, you know, there are people sugars. out there watching us that, yep. that doesn't bother them. So They get to do it the way they want to. Yep. Now, what did you say this was sort of a takeoff on, what's that thing called where you put it? It's put, not Welsh rabbit, no. Mm -hmm. But it's a takeoff on putting something hash over like toast over or toast or over, mm -hmm. or over cornbread. Yeah, so we're just going to put it over cornbread. Yeah, okay. So uh, I've got my pan hot back here, and I'm putting my carrots. I'm going to saute my vegetables a little bit before I put my turkey in there, uh, and, but not my English peas. My English peas are going in at the very end. So I've got about, uh, let's see, a fourth cup of peppers, a third cup of celery, a third cup of carrots, and a half cup of finely diced onions. So I'm going to let these saute for probably three or four minutes. And right here, we took a part of our turkey. And we chopped it up really good, really well. <clears throat> so we got that. Now this is packed, two cups right here. And I've got my turkey broth because I'm going to make a little gravy to go over it. We're cooking the turkey in his own broth? Yep, in his oh, own my, broth. Oh, he's got to yeah. be good, hasn't he? And I got cornstarch that I'm going to thicken my uh, gravy with uh, for a little bit. And now I'm doing this in pure virgin lard. I'm sauteing these vegetables in lard. And in this pan, I've got pure virgin lard. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on because I'm going to start cooking my cornbread. And I'm going to let my grease get a little hot. All right, virgin lard is just lard that has been rendered. It has not been processed through any kind of processes, no additives. Nothing. It's just no. like it was uh, taken off, during, the hog. off the hog. Yep, yep. Okay. So that's what pure virgin lard is. Now, processed lard is no healthier than anything else. But right. No, it virgin is. Virgin lard is is actually healthy. Yes, very healthy. A lot healthier than your corn oils, your vegetable oils, sapphire, all those oils. Well, it's, people used to when I when I was coming up, they used to say, "Well, when they started warning about hog fat, people used to say, "Well, my granddaddy ate five hundred five gallon tubs of lard in his life." And he did, but it was virgin lard that they rendered from the hogs that they raised on the farm. It wasn't processed oil that had been processed to stay on a shelf for months and months, which turns it into something that is not healthy for you. So that's enough history. Yeah. Okay, Rose. <laughs> Back to you, darling. 
Okay, so I'm sauteing my vegetables. I've got my grease over here on like medium high uh, for it to get my lard for it to get hot. Now I try to only use pure butter or lard. Those are the uh, two uh, oils that I only try to use. Every once in a while, if I get in a pinch, I will use a vegetable oil, but I sure don't like to. And so, but for those of you out there that do, that's fine. I mean, that's what you use. But I'm just telling you what we do. You do the way you uh, you want to do unless you decide, hey, I want a healthier oil. So, uh, but everything I do is just showing you a healthier way and the way we do it. So, uh, it's like putting potatoes in this. If you want to put potatoes in it for your family, then that's fine. And if we were having family over tonight, I would. Put, Rose would put potatoes would put, in these. See? I would. I would do two. I would do one with potatoes, one without. So, uh, if Promise and Chandler were here again, I'd do two. I'd do one with potatoes. Well, I don't know. They're real. They're real health conscious too. So they probably would eat it the way we eat it. But I'm just going to keep sauteing. Because these carrots, uh, it takes a little bit longer. I cut them really, really small because I want them to get uh, soft. I don't want them to be kind of crunchy. You really, by the time, now you're going to add English peas too, so. I am. But mm -hmm. by the time you put what she's got in this pan in and some English peas, you have you have covered your vitamins and minerals yep. and all the healthy things you need in a good dish for the family. Okay. When my grease comes up to temp and these vegetables saute for a few minutes and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I cook my corn. Oh, I'll go ahead and tell you this. In my cornbread, I went ahead and mixed it up. This is plain cornmeal. Uh, plain cornmeal means it has no salt, no leveling agent, no anything in it. It's just plain ground corn. So it's one cup of cornmeal, a four teaspoon of salt, and one cup of water. And this is the consistency. It's kind of like pancake batter or cake batter, a loose cake batter. It's a little grainier because it's corn, not wheat. Yeah, yeah. So uh, as soon as this comes up to temp, then I'll come back and uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fry my cornbread and how I'm going to put this together. Once my vegetables saute, all I have to do is put my turkey in here because it's done and put my gravy over it and let it cook for like three or four minutes just to get hot through and through then i'm going to put it over my cornbread i'll show you how i'm going to do it in a little bit okay we're going to eat something today we've never eaten before so all right this is my lacy cornbread right here uh, I've already cooked one piece, and I'm going to put another one in. And I had to turn my lard up a little bit because lard doesn't seem to uh, come up at as high a temperature as, like, your vegetable oils and all of this. So I turned it up a little bit. All right. My veggies are done. You can see how, about how they, uh, about how much you cook them. That was about five, six minutes, something like that. All right, now I'm going to put my turkey in here. Yeah. Turkey hash on now, a lacy cornbread bed. Now, this is a lot of turkey uh, because we had it really, I, I took a chopper and chopped it, so we had it really packed in there good. So, But it was two cups of just really packed in turkey. But, you know, it won't waste. I'll eat some oh, more no, next week. No, no, no. Okay, now this is three fourths of a cup of my that wonderful, wonderful bone broth that I made off my turkey yesterday. And to this, I want to thicken it some. So I'm putting three teaspoons, which is the same thing as a tablespoon, and of cornstarch. And you always do your cornstarch in cold. Now it has to be in cold. If it's not, it'll it'll knot up. So. So you make bone ball. Bone broth. Bro bone broth. <laughs> <laughs> you make bone. Or you break 
You broth. Again, you just make say it you broth. Bone <laughs> broth. Yeah. By just you continually boiling your. Uh, I boiled it for about two hours. Yeah, you boil yeah. your stock with the bones in the yep. pot for, about for a long hours. time. Yep. And then it's not just a, a liquid with some That's right. chicken or turkey juice. It's it's a it's called it's, bone broth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I know most of the ladies need that, but for the sake of us men, okay, who don't cook. All right, that was a tablespoon of cornstarch, and I may see. Okay, I need to turn this one. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. Roy likes his like that. Mm, the cornbread is calling the turkey. Yep. Woo. Okay. I want y'all to look at that. Does that not look hashy? Mm. Now, I could have put more veggies in it, but I didn't realize. I knew it was two cups of turkey, but I didn't realize it was this much. Or I'd have put a little bit more veggies in it. But I am going to put English peas. Now, so. we've never seasoned this before, so you might take it in different directions, add different seasonings, just play with it till you get it like you like it. All right. But we. But now, I'm going to do another piece of cornbread. This is Rose's first try at this. Yeah. And I'm fixing the taste of it and see about the salt and pepper. Boy. Um, Look at that. Look at that. Mm. It looks An delicious. open based sandwich mm. on cornbread. Mm. That's good. Is it good? It needs pepper, it doesn't need salt. Because if y'all know, I salted my turkey, I salted my broth, I salted everything yesterday. Does it need a little hot sauce? Just it a little? does. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little cayenne pepper. Okay. Not, not hot sauce. We just like enough to to make it yeah, not tingle enough, a little yeah. bit in your mouth. Yeah. Not burn. Okay. That takes a little practice. Now I'm going to put my English peas. Let me get back where I can get a better. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now all I'm doing is heating this through because my veggies are done. My turkey is done. My, uh, and that was a perfect amount of broth. So that was three quarters cup of broth. But I'm going to have the recipe in the description box. You can do this with chicken. You can do it with turkey. You can do it with rabbit. Uh, you can even do this with ground beef. Now, it should be just juicy enough to run off of the cornbread when you put it on it. Is that what you're wanting? What kind of well, consistency? Well, this is not going to be quite that juicy. This is just because I would have to add more broth to it. This is just going to kind of, I'll show you. I'm fixing to make one. Okay. It's this going to be almost ready? consistency of uh, pulled pork. Yeah. Is that what this is going to yes. be like? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I could have put more broth in it. That looks edible. Or cut back on the uh, mm -hmm. cut back on the cornstarch a little bit if you want it juicier than this. But if it's much juicier, it's going to uh, all right. I'm gonna turn this run off. everywhere. It's going to make your cornbread soggy. Oh. All right. Now I got some pepper jack cheese here. I don't think I would put cheddar cheese on this, but I am putting some pepper jack. Oh, mm. and I guess you could top it too with a piece of cornbread if you wanted to, couldn't you? You want a piece of cornbread on yours? I got an extra one. Well, yeah, stick it on there if you got it. Okay. Ah, woo. All right. Do that look good to me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm going to do? Because I'm going to need to do a picture. Mm-hmm. No. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll do another one. Do a picture of both. Yours is going to be... I am, but I'm going to make another... On one sheet, isn't it? Yeah. Another piece of cornbread. One bit of cornbread. So I can do a picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's I've got beautiful, this off. But you That see is how, beautiful. You see how quick, quickly that came together? Yeah. And if you've got your turkey already saved yes. in your refrigerator yeah. or your freezer... Your freezer. You yes. can do a lot of things during the week without... Because you prepared it on the weekend. And this will be enough for about probably four people. Yep. Two cups of your turkey. Yep. Boy. Okay. That's a lot of turkey and vegetable, really. It is. Right it's, there. This is a good, good hearty meal. Mm -hmm. I mean, real hearty. Wow. Rose, I think this is, this is going to be something we want to eat from time to time. 
Okay. All right, let me get it. I'm going to get it fixed for the picture. But I don't want my cornbread back here to, to burn either. So, okay. Just now, she's cook just she's a cooking bit this Southernese, but if you wanted to take it Italian or uh, Mexican or whatever you wanted to, you could mm, by your I, seasoning. Not, I don't think so, not with the turkey, because when you taste of it, you'll see. Okay. All right. All right. I've got my hash turned off. I'm fixing to turn this other piece of cornbread. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm fixing, I'm going to taste of this one. I'm going to let Roy taste of this one. So. Okay. Dive in. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, do you hear that crunch? Mm. Mm. Y'all listen. As my granddaddy used to say, suey, mm. when he called the pigs, and they would surely come to this. Mm. Mm. Y'all, this is so good. With that mm. little cayenne pepper and that pepper jack cheese on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Mm. Now, would you honestly tell them it was bad if it really was horrible? I would tell them it didn't work out. <laughs> In fact, you wouldn't show and the video. I wouldn't post the video. You wouldn't post the video. Mm -hmm. Every now and then we do have a catastrophe. Well, this but is good. The thing that's sort of unique about Grandma Rose is that she she cooks almost everything is either a new dish or a new slant to a dish mm -hmm. because she loves to recreate. I do. I love to create different dishes <clears throat> it's just what i love to do this, this is, is a first this is a first but it won't be a last i'll tell you that well are you going to hold a camera or are you just going to stand over there and grab i don't know them? i think i'm going to keep eating it mm. i didn't eat breakfast so oh okay oh i'm going to let you taste of it in a minute yeah. mm. it's just that i don't come first until the dishes are ready to wash mm. Mm. This is so good. Mm. You want to try the double? Mm -mm. You're nope. satisfied. Okay. I like it like this. I know you'll like this one because it's got the double cornbread. An extra crunch. I love crunchy And the crunchy extra stuff. crunch. But to cut back on the carbs, I'll just eat it with the one, <clears throat> one piece of bread. Y'all, this is delicious. This is so good. I'm just going to let you taste. Well, it's about time. <sighs> Okay, baby. Let me see how you like it. Can I use your fork? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm I already like it, Rose. Mm. Mm. Listen to that crunching going on. The cheese is melted under there. Ooh -wee. Look. Oh, you lost your cornbread, baby. Y'all hear that crunch? Mmm. Oh, vegetables are coming through. But, uh, yeah, I could have put more in there. Mm. But, mm, that is so mm. good. Oh, my. That cayenne pepper just, it kicked it up a notch. As Emerald Lagasse used to say, bam, kick it up a notch. Yes, you can, you can feel it threatening your mouth. Right. Mmm. <clears throat> Y'all hear that crunch? <laughs> and that cheese, that pepper, uh, jack cheese, mm -hmm. gives it just... Mm. Yes, it does. Honey, this is an excellent creation. I think so, too. It really is. We'll be eating delicious. this. Y'all, this is another way you can do turkey. From mm. a turkey you buy on sale in the grocery store. A southernese turkey hash. Excuse me. <laughs> On a bed of lacy cornbread. Lacy Where would you cornbread. find that but at Grandma Rose's? That's right. Nowhere else would you find that. Okay. Thank y'all for joining me. Hit that subscribe button. Just go ahead, Rose. I'm going to keep eating. Hit that notification bell. Mm. Share this video. Diane, Comment. I wish you were here. <laughs> Comment. Tell me where you're from. And uh, remember, food feeds the family, family feeds the heart.
God feeds the soul. I wish Promise and Chandler were here. They would absolutely love Woo. this. Dolan Joe. Yes. Charlie would love this yep, too. Yep, they would. Mm. See y'all next time.